Hi, welcome back to the Box Alliance Game Channel. Let's move on straight to the event phase for round four. And we get some heavy rain. <laughs> oh dear. This is not looking good for us, is it? Alright, we've got another adventure token, and this time it's for building. I'll take this one this time. It goes here. The cold rain now turns heavy. Heavy clouds over the sky, and the weather is certainly not helping us. Let's put another rain cloud in the weather space. That's going to go here. And our cold rain moves down, and heavy rain takes its place in the threat action. Morale phase. Well, our morale's still good, so it's two determination tokens or heal one wound. I think I'm going to take a couple more determination tokens. I wanted to try my scouting determination skill, and I can use these any time, just once per round. And this one says, scouting. That place looks interesting. I'll have a look. Discard three determination token tokens to draw two discovery tokens and choose one. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to discard three. Remember, you can do this any time, just once per round, okay? So three determination tokens. I'll place a little black cube here to signify that I've used scouting. I can't do it again this round. So I can grab two discovery tokens. Now, I did a quick rules check. I get to keep one, discard the other, then shuffle it back, and whatever I get goes in the available resources. Okay, not future, but available, so I can use it this turn. Pretty neat, huh? Right, what do we get? Hey, well, both of these look pretty neat. You know, the treasure is tempting, and <laughs> it's tempting because I'd like to show you some treasure cards, but the game room, he says, this is the sensible one to take, because fur and food build a roof, bad weather coming, might be better. Right, I'm going to do that, I can't help it, <laughs> I can't help myself, so treasure, go away. This one, available resources. Sometimes I just want to play for the fun of it, don't I? Right, okay. Um, I need to get my weapons level up to make use of that though, because my weapons level is still zero. Production. And once more, all I'm producing right now is food. Let's go plan some actions. Well, first off, I know the weather's going to be bad. Well, not bad, it's got one rain at least. I've got a piece of fur. I've got a shelter because I'm in that cave, remember? So I can build... I can build a roof. Even though I've not built a shelter, because my tile has shelter, I can still take the action to build a roof. The downside is if I ever do move my camp I'm going to lose that roof. Next I have to think how I'm going to use my actions. Remember my dog can only do exploring and hunting and I still want to build this shortcut. Dog can't help me. Now even though I don't have any empty terrain next to my camp, I can still explore, but it's going to cost me two actions. Basically, I can explore any empty tile that's adjacent to an explored tile, which is adjacent to my camp. All right, So I could explore this place, this place, or this place. So I'm going to grab the dog, and I'm going to do that. And I think we'll explore here. But even though it's two action pawns down, it only counts as one because I'm that extra tile away. Alright, makes sense? I hope so. But I do have another trick up my sleeve, and that's the map. Because this gives me another action pawn that I can use for exploring. I'm going to use these green action pawns here to represent that. So I can take this action now and place it with my player action and the dog. And that will give me three 
action pawns. So that basically means automatic success exploring. And then once you've used this action pawn, it gets discarded. And finally, with my final action, I'm going to have another crack at this shortcut. Okay, let's roll these one at a time, and hopefully we'll be a little bit more successful than last time. Ouch. Right, we get a wound. Are we successful? Yes, we're successful. And adventure. This one's a bit academic, really, because there's a token on the adventure deck anyway. Yes, we get an adventure. Okay, now let's resolve these one at a time, starting with the wound. So we go from three to four wounds. Next, we successfully build our shortcut. So this goes up in the future resources. And as a reward, you should get these two determination tokens. And then we resolve the adventure, and this gets discarded, and we get unmotivated. I'm unmotivated due to being hurt, tired, and irritated. Construction is going very slowly. Get one wound or discard one determination token and then shuffle the unmotivated card into the event deck. I think that's an easy choice for me. I'm going to discard this determination token. And now we shuffle this one into the event deck. And this is kind of the, um, I think it's a unique element. I've not seen it in games before where something happens and then we have a secondary effect which is going to come back and grab us at some point in the future on a later turn. So at some point in the future, because of our shoddy workmanship, our tools are likely to break. And what that means is during some later event phase, if we pick up this card, each player has to discard one determination token and then draw another event card. So at some point in an upcoming round, we're going to have to pay with some determination tokens. And now we can shuffle this one in to our event deck. I notice the backs are different, so I mean, kind of shuffle it blindly if you can, but at some point we're going to know that this thing is ready to come out. Alright. We're not quite done with building yet because we are going to build our roof. Remember, and we only used one action pawn, so we're going to have to roll those dice once more. So here we go once more the wound die. Yep, we're wounded. Success die. Yes, we're successful. Excellent. An adventure. Yes, we get an adventure. So once more, let's resolve those in order. We'll take a wound, we successfully build our roof, and then we get another build adventure. First the wound, and it's Friday that took the action to build the roof, so it's Friday who gets the wound. It's up to two now. We successfully build our roof. So I'm going to place black cube there to show that we are now having a level one roof. But as for the adventure, remember Friday doesn't adventure, he will take a wound instead. So poor old Friday is up to three wounds. He can't afford to take any more. And finally, we get to explore. And remember, because we've got three action pawns here, Remember, it's one extra for being one extra tile away from our camp. We do automatically succeed. So we can discard this token now that we've used it, but we can use it next turn, and I think the advice is to put it on the map to remind you for next round. And the good news is that saved us from having to roll these dice. Let's grab a new tile. And it's some hills. Excellent. It has some wood and some food and one discovery token. Now remember, we already have hills terrain from previously, so it's just one discovery token now. And we get... Well, that's helpful. That allows us to ignore one rainy cloud. But remember, this goes up here for now. And now we can draw our adventure. So we discard this. And it is... 
A secret cave. Deep in the bushes you find a mysterious cave. It says we can discard this card or draw three mystery cards. And it says we have to resolve one monster or one trap and up to two treasure and shuffle this adventure into the event deck. We have a choice. We can discard it or we can try searching the secret cave for some treasure. Well, this is interesting. I'm not sure if I need it. I'm not quite sure what's going to come out, but let's have a go. Let's have a go. Let's see. Let's see how this plays. So here's my mystery deck. Here's my secret cave. And it says, draw three mystery cards, resolve one monster or one trap, and up to two treasures. And the rules tell me that as soon as I resolve one of these, I can stop and decide to kind of run out of the cave it a little bit early. Okay. So let's go with the first one. So our first one is a monster bite. Something bites me. Get one wound. Ouch! So we're up to five wounds now. Well, a nasty bite it was. Now I've got a choice. I've got two more draws I can make. Up to two more draws. I could stop now if I want, run out the cave, go do something else less risky. Or I could try and draw up to two more times. But if I get another monster, I can ignore it. And if I get a trap, I'll ignore it. Because remember, it says one monster or one trap. And I did check with Ignacy Chevichet. So I know these next two cards that I draw should be treasures. It's a monster, so ignore. Try again. Monster. Monster. Treasure, excellent. And it's a bottle of wine. And it says, In vino veritas. Keep this card. You can use it once to heal two wounds and then discard. Well, excellent. So that's good. I'm going to take that bottle of wine. And now we can continue to draw cards until we get the second treasure. It's a trap which we ignore. Monster, trap, treasure, it's candles, and it says, in a small wrapped bundle you find two old candles, it lets you work longer, get two build action pawns and put them on this card, you can use them as additional pawns only for building, each pawn can be used only once and is discarded after use, and then discard the candles card after we use it, excellent. So I'm going to grab these two build action pawns and place them here. We can use those next round. This secret cave now says shuffle this into the event deck. And we know that because of the event deck icon here, the question mark in the flag. Whenever you see this one, we know it's heading off to the event deck. So we'll shuffle this in here now. Okay. And I think that's all my actions resolved. I do have to discard this piece of fur, remember, to build my fur roof or my shelter. I can take these action pawns back. And now these available resources appear and our shortcut gets built. And it says we have to execute this part of the card when you when you build it and then we turn it over. Put this token on any tile adjacent to your camp during production phase you get one chosen resource available on that tile. Okay and now we've built our shortcut. So I'm looking for the shortcut tile and it's here. And I can place this shortcut token either here, here or here. Well, I'm going to place it on the seashore because then I get to choose whether I want to get the wood or get the food. Brilliant. And now we can move into the weather phase. And we have this rain cloud here, so we know we've got a little bit of rain at least, but my new one level roof will protect me from this rain. But this time for round four, my scenario says I do need to roll one orange die. So let's do that. 
gonna roll one orange die. And we get one snow. And you can see that in total this has given me two clouds instead of the one I was really expecting and hoping for. This cloud with a with a little snowflake is a winter cloud. And what that means is that I need to discard one piece of, of wood to keep the camp warm enough during this cold weather. But I don't have any wood available so I'm going to have to take one wound. And this wound is going to push my health past this downward pointing morale arrow. And this means I'm going to have to put morale down. And it also means, because my roof level is now is 1, I would have been alright, but I'm going to make use of this token. Because now, this extra winter cloud, together with the rain cloud, would be 2 clouds, and my roof level is only 1. So that would mean losing another 1 food and 1 piece of wood, which I, which I just don't have. So I'm going to use this discovery token to cancel that one, and now my roof will allow me to deal with that that one winter cloud and we can discard both these tokens and now we can move into the night phase eat our food remove any black markers here and now I'm going to because it's the night I'm going to discard this bottle of wine have myself a nightcap and coming back down past this morale arrow has no effect. Things are getting decidedly tricky. Join me next time for round five.